What's up guys and welcome to the video from me, the Scarinder. A bit of a lazy video today, though this is generally just an update and you know, it's a little bit of a fast video if anything. Um, as of most of you guys know, on the 1st of December, that is Tuesday one week from now actually, um, we're gonna see the Mega Pokemon actually be introduced to the regular tier. And what that means is that Pokemon like Charizard will now probably hit off the NU and stuff like that. And I thought, in celebration of that, that, that is actually a big thing due to me. I had a, like, without Mega Pokemon um, way back when. And obviously that never hit off, mostly because I was extremely lazy. But also, I think most people kind of recognize that that is a natural evolution of the metagame. And I'm glad Smogon actually reached out on that. I think even back in September that they will collect data from every Pokemon to see if they're used to regular form or the mega form. And obviously they're doing that by checking the item usage of the Pokemon itself and determine the tier after that. Um, pretty basic, yes, but at the same time they obviously need to test, test this to actually see what works and what not. And I thought we were using the Smogon Generation 5 tier listing to get a feel for them. Uh, there are a few Pokemon here I'm not accustomed to, therefore I will have to do it like that. Like if I can't really speculate on it, I just want to watch it. And um, yeah, basically, oh I forgot to tell you, uh, obviously they're doing this because there's not a whole lot of changes left to do in the tiers. At least as of right now, there's not a whole lot happening. A few Pokemon can drop in and out of OU and UU, but there's not going to be major changes. And so also goes, of course, for RU and U, and of course PU just helped. Like that's obviously a natural evolution of NU, of course, being much, much more complex these days than were a few years ago, with generations ago. So having the regular Pokemon be introduced again to the meta is, I say, that's a fair assumption to do. I definitely I like that idea. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna start with, of course, the Mega Venusaur, and um, without actually... I don't know how well that was used in previous generation, though I assume that Mega or regular Venusaur must have been generation 5, like Yu Yu Move On. Uh, since it's actually fairly bulky, and it has actually the chlorophyll. Um, let's see. Back in black and white, it was actually OU still. That's incredible. Uh, very likely to stay then. Um, yeah, chlorophyll sweep will growth. Yeah, it actually makes sense. Um, wow. Yeah, like I said, it makes sense. That's um, <laughs> that's dangerous. All right, there we go. Um, so obviously, Charizard both four is gonna be in you. Uh, regular Charizard is not impressive, uh, nor will it ever be. And nothing new introduced for it this year, -ish. so it will most likely stay. Um, Blastoise, on the other hand, it's still a very, very suitable and massive uh, rapid spinner. I could see it drop into RU, um, but not likely. Uh, it has much to do with it. it's just as versatile as um, Tentacruel is when it comes to both best spinner and with the um, broader move pool that it got with Aura Sphere and whatnot. It should still be relevant for you, you, so I don't see regular form dropping. Uh, Alakazam, I mean, the regular form is OU still, so, eh, what do I know? Or I think it's BL blacklisted. Uh, Gengar, obviously, banned. Uh, Kangaskhan, yeah. Uh, that, that has all been solved. Pinsir, probably gonna go back to NU. Why? I don't have no idea why regular Pinsir is in NU, but uh, it's definitely better than that. Gyarados. I guess the regular form is also OU, I mean, regular Gyarados, in my assumption, is still better than the Mega form due to the Mega Evolution. While getting more uh, power behind it, it also gets more weaknesses, so it's it's a tough sell, if you ask me. Uh, Aerodactyl. Well, I actually think regular Aerodactyl is just as dangerous as, as the Mega form, so... Uh, yeah, I still think you you though. I really want to check that out before I make any assumptions So let's actually let's see smart on Aerodactyl 
How about spell that right? Um, let's see. Work with me. Black and white. Are you? Huh. It actually was are you in previous generation. Uh, very interesting. I would not be told against that. Definitely would be a great... Not a counter, but it would make a good Pokemon in it because of Flygon right now. So, not a Flygon is necessarily dangerous, but uh, both Flygon and Tyrantrum is definitely can be afraid of an out by Aerodactyl. Or Aerodactyl can hurt them really badly, so... Not against that at all, actually. It would be really cool. Uh, Alright, let's continue. Mewtwo, okay. Uh, Mega Ampharos, right. Regular Ampharos, definitely... And you. Now, Magnetic Flux got introduced this generation, which is based on cosmic power to the Pokemon that have a plus and minus ability. So, that's something I can see happening with the regular Mega or regular Ampharos. Though, obviously, regular Ampharos is actually it's pretty darn cool in uh, the lower tiers, if you ask me. Uh, packed upon, or doesn't really pack the whole punch, but it still is pretty decent. Alright. Both Scissor and Heracross are already sold. So goes for Houndoom, it's already sold. Tyranitar, yeah. Gardevoir. Now, Gardevoir is a very, very interesting mod. Um, I actually thought Gardevoir was OU in Generation 5. Turned out it was NU. Uh, I had to deal with that for a few days. Um, obviously being a bit slow actually is the reason it is in the S tier because you got to Musharna which is basically a better Gardevoir by both recovery and the damage wise they are pretty much doing the same thing though it's been obviously slower uh, but it can't survive. Now since the fairy type got introduced in Gardevoir it would be likely that it's gonna hit RU because now it still packs a whole goddamn punch behind it and obviously it would have been an excellent counter for the few um, Pokemon in RU, like for example Tyrantrum. So it's actually speed. That's incredible, that's so cool. Mobile or the Salt, Agron, still in UU. Um, or actually is it? Wow, that I have to check. Was Agron in UU in Generation 5? I mean, it's basically a better Bastiodon, so I can definitely see it being RU. Maybe. Let's see, black and white RU, yeah! Ha! Huh, that would be so cool! I would really like to use Aggron in RU. Um, let's see, Terrifying Presence. Oh yeah, Head Smash. Yeah, it has Head Smash, right? That could actually be... It basically is Tarantrum with a worse typing, and obviously a, a whole lot slower. Very interesting though, very interesting. I definitely could see that being an RU. <laughs> that would have been so cool. That would be, make a whole lot of difference to RU actually. Um, let's see, next Pokemon. Medisham, RU of course. Mega Manetric, regular Manetric. How did that one go in... Um, Hmm. That should be NU, I'm sure of it. Um, regular Manetric is not that good. Um, it actually was RU. It definitely made it to RU, though I don't think it will hold up against her. Due to Jolteon, of course, being slightly better, but also that it just isn't that good. I mean, it does well, it has a worse move pool than Electros. It's faster, obviously. But really now, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, without that extra punch, it just doesn't pull through. Uh, I can easily see this guy dropping to NU. Because I don't think it's got inter anything introduced to it. It got Switcheroo though, I had no idea. Uh, obviously I didn't play the meta in Generation 5. But uh, yeah, this is definitely a Pokemon that I'm really looking forward to getting a real tier in the next, or in this, this December. Next Pokemon, Banet. Banet is an NU Pokemon from previous generation, and luckily got a stater that there's no debating it. Now, Mega Absol is interesting, a regular Absol that is. Uh, Absol was actually 
it is an unfortunate Pokemon. It got really good boost in um, Generation 4 with the split, since Dark Type was a special typing until then. Um, so I think it was in Junior back then and actually dropped to RU previous uh, generation. But now, due to Fairy, um, I'm pretty sure this guy will actually be a new or be blacklisted. It could much likely be a blacklisted RU Pokemon or a force to go to RU. But Absol, it's a really good mon, a um, bit too slow for its own good. But I can easily see that Pokemon being a new, powerful Enumon. Um, looking for that. Lorias, Lalias is a no go. Garchomp, no. Uh, Obama Snow was RU, I believe. Even without the Mega Form, it's still RU. Uh, so that does it for X and Y. Now, here we go. The newest generation. Okay, Mega Pidgeot is sold. Uh, Beedrill is definitely NU. Uh, I think no debating it. It was barely used in the news. Probably even PU, to be honest. Uh, Slowbro. Much the same there. Steelix gonna come back to NU, my baby. You've been missed. Sceptile, definitely gonna hit NU. Um, Swampert, also NU. Nope. UU, it's gonna, it's gonna stay in UU, my bad. Um, same line, much the same. Charpedo is definitely gonna hit RU, um, much like it was before. These guys are easier to talk about because this guy is actually did hit the tiers before he got the Mega Evolution. Camera back to NU, Altera back to NU, Glalie back to NU, you're banned, you're banned. Oh no, you're not banned, but you know. Um, Rayquaza, huh? <laughs> uh, Lopani, uh, back to NU. Um, and that's it, right. There weren't too many to speculate about there. Um, obviously, we all know which uh, tiers these guys were before they got their Mega Evolution. But, these guys are of course what are the interesting ones, because obviously they never got the chance to meet the new Generation 6 Pokemons before they got their new tiers in, of course, their Mega Pokemon. So very interesting, and I'm really looking forward to this, and of course that hits up next week. We made it to 12 minutes of me rambling. <laughs> if you guys stayed this long, thank you for that, that was awesome, and I hope you guys are just as me looking really forward to this, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely ho holding up my eyes here till the 1st of December, this next Tuesday guys, so yeah, I want to thank you for watching of course, and uh, yeah, this is going to be so cool, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video, until then guys, take care, bye.